<laughs> Me. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. My name is Joel from Rumi Official. And today we're looking at more beatboxers who can sing. Because whenever I make a video on this, everyone just keeps asking me to check out more stuff and suggesting more stuff. So we're gonna do it. I can't say no. I have no will of my own. I am worthless in every single way. <laughs> Let's start the video. So we actually have featured this guy before, but everyone kept telling me that he has his own YouTube channel. d is his name. One of the top, top beatboxers in the world, it seems like, from what everyone keeps telling me anyway. I don't know. I haven't seen any rankings or anything. And here we have him doing two minutes of bass insanity with Tamazakre. Let's check that out. Oh, bro. It's so low. <laughs> wow, they're so tight together. That's surprising. You would expect beatboxers to be like not very good at playing together or like collaborating since they do everything by themselves most of the time. But these guys are like properly, fully synced up. A hundred percent. They're like plus ultra, just slamming it into each other. Let's keep watching. Ah, uh, that grooves. <laughs> oh my god. If they played live together, I'd go watch the heck out of that. Are they like a band together? I want them to be a band together. Oh, Thomas Zachary has a channel as well, but I gotta check that out later. There's so much cool beatbox content to check out. However, I want to watch more D-Lo stuff first. Two minutes dubstep beatbox insanity. Okay. I want to be insane when I stop watching this video. You should demise. You want to be insane. You should demise. You want to be insane. 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 <laughs> That's like, he's doing the Donald Duck sounds. It's funny when like you identify a sound and kind of how they did it. I wouldn't sound the same. I'm like, it's kind of that type of sound he's doing in the... <laughs> Whenever you identify a sound like that to be from the mouth, it starts sounding funny and cool at the same time instead of just cool because like, oh yeah, I can... Oh my God, <laughs> it spat everywhere. Gross. Let's keep watching. Hey! Look at his throat. That's insane. The way it's moving. That was cool. There was definitely some like post-production stuff involved here. For example, reverb came in very suddenly on some of the plop sounds he made. Or, or that as well, the breath there. So, for example, if that reverb was on all the time, obviously his bass and stuff wouldn't be as tight. The bass also sounds larger than life for a microphone he would hold over there, so there's probably some bass boosting going on. I think it's fine. I really like post-production on stuff. It seems like it's live anyway, so that's cool. D-Lo, what a bruh. The cat got really scared. <laughs> Me. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't already, please like the video and leave a comment about why beatboxing is the very best. Okay, let's move on to some other stuff you guys told me that I need to listen to. Apparently, a lot of people were angry with me because I skipped some things in the loop station duel with MB14 and uh, the other guy. <laughs> I've already forgotten his name, so I'm very sorry once again. Yeah, Sorrow, that was it. But yeah, apparently those were like some of the most iconic loop station things in the world. Yeah, let's have a listen to 
thesaurus parts because I only listened to MB14's last time. As you guys know though, the loop station stuff is not as interesting to me as the live stuff just because I'm so familiar with how looping works and everything and it just seems more cool like when someone like D-Lo does like, you know, something that sounds like, I don't know, six, six sounds, sounds at, at the, the same, same time. time with his mouth, like six layers of things at the same time then looping something which just, I, I get it. I do that all the time with instruments and stuff. Anyway, let's have a listen to Sorrow stuff then. Round one, it's on Sorrow from France. Crowd, you know what to do? Oh yeah, there was that guy as well, the crazy guy in the audience. Apparently he's also a beatboxer. That was also something I got a lot of comments about. We're gonna check that out in a sec as well. But first, Sorrow, the things I missed. I'm very sorry. Is that all voice? It must be all voice, right? It sounds like he's pitching things around though. Is it even a sample? I don't even know. I didn't see him do the sound for the first thing either. That was like the click in the beginning. Anyway. That does, that is nice. Yeah, that groups. Oh yeah, that, that was dope, it was really dope. Still, the same thing I said last time still stands, and that is that the bass is both a little bit out of tune, which you know, it's whatever, it's a little bit out of tune, but it also doesn't play the notes that would really support those chords. I think technically, from a music theory perspective, he's like doubling, doubling the, the third, third or whatever, whatever a lot, and does some parallel movement things, which makes it sound not entirely right to me. It makes it sound like a little bit like, ugh, this is messy. Sorrow. You're a good boy. That was really like groovy and I love the chops and everything. Uh, something I know is just a lot of the audience, the way they dance is funny. There's a lot of just going up and down like... I cannot dance. I have got really no business to critique anyone's dancing. Not even the up and down dancing when you stand awkwardly and just go up and down. So let's check out Sorrow's other one as well because everyone has been hassling me about this. So many angry comments saying, Joe, I will not send you the chocolate I was gonna send you unless you watch Sorrow's other thing. Very mean things like that. How could you not send me the chocolate you were gonna send me? Come on, the chocolate! Layered snare, that's nice. I haven't seen that a lot. Slightly pitchy there. Ah! <laughs> oh, that is epic. Very nice. Okay, I can see why you guys wanted me to see that. That is really, really dope. Okay, very smooth transition. <laughs> I just paused on this guy. And he's seen all of these beatbox videos over on Swiss Beatbox's channel. Subscribe to them, by the way, if you like beatbox. Loads of good beatbox videos there. He can actually beatbox. And I've just seen him do these crazy phases all the time watching beatbox videos. However, he can beatbox himself and it's really fun. Here he is. BBK is his name. This is really good, actually. I've seen this before. I am BBK. <laughs> I am here in Switzerland, 
Why? Because we, as humans, evolve. Why do we evolve? Because we beatbox. We beatboxers evolve. I lived in Canada. I'm in Switzerland. I'm in Switzerland. Yes! Okay, yeah. I mean, he's got a persona that matches up with his facial expression for sure. Anyway, let's hear him beatbox. <laughs> Ice. Like he can really do it. Very nice, BBK. You're not only a funny face in the crowd anymore. You're also a really talented beatbox. Okay, so over here, we have Thomas Akra's own beatbox channel as well. Only 46k subscribers. Go subscribe to this man. We've watched a bunch of really great videos from this guy. Okay, so let's watch his beatbox freestyle. <laughs> Drop like an earthquake. Yes. <laughs> nice. Same thing here that like there's a lot of little reverb edits and stuff. Maybe other edits we can't hear as well with like making his bass thicker potentially. I don't know. Still really cool. Really great stuff as always. I feel like maybe that wasn't the best performance I've seen from him. Still really, really good. But like the other stuff I've seen, he's been like totally massively insane. Okay, so Darny, possibly my favorite beatboxer because of his very funny personality and tutorials. Released a new tutorial just one week ago. And it's how to do the Darny snare. Exclusive, very, very, very basic beatbox tutorial. <laughs> I can't help to feel a little bit guilty that maybe me talking about how he always says that things are simple has made him like just me that a bit more <laughs> let's have a look at this hey yo man back <laughs> hey, in the yo. place once again my name is darny i love this way he says hey yo it sounds like a joke hey yo man <laughs> today i'm gonna teach you how to do a very very interesting sound it's mm -hmm. called darny snare <laughs> oh you gotta sound like donald duck <laughs> Why do I even try in these tutorials anymore? Put the tongue out. I use my right side of my tongue here. Yeah. And I put it up against the top gum on the same side and inhale. <laughs> Almost like Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I only make slurp sounds? The second step is try to have the airy noise. You adjust the tongue position till you get the perfect balance. Ah! Third step, I want you to do a gag, like, it's like pronouncing the letter K without using your lungs. So it's just using the air pressure. So the next one, you got to do the same gagging position on the same side. So you got to adjust your jaw and make your mouth look like a horse or a fish like that. Along with the gagging noise, just to create the attack. Ooh. Seems weird that I wouldn't be using any air for that. Of course, there's airflow involved, but probably not very much. Like, I can't do the Donald Duck song sound at all without any air. You can tune your snare by changing the shape of your mouth. Have fun learning it. I wish you guys good luck and see you guys on the next lesson. Oh, <laughs> Darn is just one of a kind. Like he was the one who really turned me on to beatboxing. He's just so funny. And the deadpan humor is just incredible. What a man. Anyway, click here for more music commentary videos and here for more things where I sing or make music or whatever. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.